Hi, beautiful people. My name is Teresa, but you can call me Risa because that's what my friends call me. And since you're my friend now, yeah, you can call me Risa. This is DNA series. Right here, you're going to be informed, entertained, as well as educated on all things DNA and genetics related. Now, I'm not the expert, but I have an expert here with me, and she's going to take us on this amazing, adventurous journey. Are you excited? Because I definitely am. Okay, so my guest, Dr. Miriam Ajikobi Nurudun Shiaba, is a distinguished professional trained at McGill University in Canada. She serves as the CEO and Managing Director of Humgen Limited, also known as Humgen Testing Laboratory, with locations in Lagos, Nigeria, and Mississauga, Ontario, Canada. Dr. Shiaba is a senior human geneticist, DNA expert, genetic counselor, and public health expert. Welcome, Dr. Shiaba. Thanks for having me. So excited to have you here. There's a lot to learn and... <laughs> Yes, there is. Yeah, yes, I have yes. a lot of questions for you. I hope you're ready for me. No problem. Okay. I'm up to the task. Thank you. All right. So, um, as the CEO of Humgen Limited, can you tell us what inspired you to establish your company and focus on such a diverse range of genetic testing services? Hmm. The inspiration behind Home Gene Limited mm -hmm. was increasing need for reliable and accessible genetic testing in Nigeria. Mm -hmm. We saw a gap in the market for comprehensive services that could address paternity question, genetic precision testing, prenatal testing, and more. Mm. Our goal is to provide accurate, confidential, and supportive genetic testing to help individuals make informed decisions about their health and family planning. Wow, okay, that's, that's amazing. Can you explain how DNA paternity tests work and what makes them so reliable? DNA paternity tests work by comparing genetic markers in the child and the potential father. Humans inherit half of their DNA from each parent. Mm. So a match between the child and the father at these markers indicates paternity. Okay. Our tests are highly reliable, often exceeding 99.99% accuracy due to advanced technology and rigorous quality control and protocols. Wow, that's, that's just amazing. What makes Home Gene Limited's approach to DNA paternity testing unique compared to other providers? At Home Gene Limited, we prioritize accuracy, mm. confidentiality, and customer care. Wow. Our state-of-art laboratory uses the test, the, the latest genetic testing technology, and we adhere to international standards for quality assurance. Additionally, we offer comprehensive genetic counseling to help clients understand their results and provide emotional support throughout the process. Mm -hmm. Our focus is on delivering a seamless and supportive experience for our clients. <laughs> wow, all of these features are already making me excited to even call. Okay, so now this will lead me to my next question. What are the most common reasons individuals seek DNA paternity testing? People seek DNA paternity tests for various reasons, mm -hmm. which includes um, part, uh, like people want to check for biological relationships, mm -hmm. like a man is doubt um, of the child's paternity, and for medical reasons, for example, when accurate family medical histories are needed. In some mm. cases, individuals may also seek paternity testing for immigration purposes. People that want to travel, embassies may ask for it, uh, and order to get access to certain benefits or inheritance that is legal part of the DNA paternity testing. Oh, wow. Okay. Um, so how accurate are DNA paternity tests, and what factors can influence their accuracy? So DNA paternity tests are extremely accurate often with a probability of 99% of paternity. That is when the tested man is biological father of the child mm -hmm. and 0% when he is not. Factors that can influence um, accuracy include quality of the DNA sample, mm -hmm. potential contamination, and whether the tested individuals are close biological relatives. Mm -hmm. Accredited laboratories follow strict protocols to minimize this risk and ensure accurate results. Mm. Okay, um, what are the different types of DNA samples that can be used for paternity testing and how are they collected? So the most common DNA sample used for paternity testing is buccal, also known as cheek swab, which is non-invasive and is easy to collect. Other samples 
uh, types of samples can be that can be used are hair, uh, hair follicles, blood, and even items like toothbrush or clothing if they contain sufficient DNA. For prenatal genetic testing and uh, paternity testing, samples can be obtained through non-invasive procedures like maternal blood drawn uh, non-invasively, or we have invasive ones which is called chorionic villus sampling. Mm. I think the one everybody probably knows is just hair samples, but it's good to know that there are more. That This is really insightful. Okay, so how do you counsel individuals or families who are undergoing DNA paternity testing, especially when results might bring unexpected news? So counseling individuals or families involves preparing them for all possible outcomes mm. and providing emotional support throughout the process. We discuss the reasons for the test, the potential implications of the results, and ensure they understand the procedures. It is essential to approach each case with empathy and to help clients navigate the complex emotions that can arise from the paternity testing. Mm. Oh. Okay, are there any limitations or potential pitfalls of DNA paternity testing that people should be aware of? While DNA paternity testing is highly accurate, it does have its limitations. For instance, testing close relatives without knowing their relationship can complicate results. Mm -hmm. Additionally, the accuracy depends on the quality of the DNA samples. Mm -hmm. Mislabeling or contamination of samples, although rare, can also implicate and uh, impact the results. You know? Furthermore, the emotional and social ramifications of test outcomes can be significant. Mm -hmm. So it's important to consider these factors before proceeding with the testing. Wow, insightful. Um, what are the reasons behind some women's opposition to DNA paternity testing and how can these concerns be effectively addressed? So some women might oppose DNA paternity test due to feelings of mistrust or insecurity within the relationship, mm. fearing that such tests imply doubt or lack of faith. Mm. To address this, open and honest communication about the reasons for the test request, along with assurance of support and commitment, can help alleviate concerns. Additionally, Providing education about the accuracy and reliability of modern DNA testing methods, as well as respecting individuals' autonomy and privacy throughout the process, can foster a more positive and understanding environment. Ultimately, building trust and mutual respect within the relationship is key to addressing any underlying issues and find a solution that respects both parties' feelings and concerns. Mm. Okay, um, I want to know, can you share any notable success stories or impactful moments from your work at Home Gene Limited that highlight the importance of DNA paternity testing? So one impactful moment was when a family came to us with a long-standing paternity dispute that caused much distress. Mm. After conducting the DNA test, we were able to provide clear and conclusive results that resolved the issue. Mm. The relief and closure experience by the family were profound and it reinforced the vital role that accurate and reliable paternity testing can play in resolving familial conflicts and establishing legal clarity. These success stories motivate us to continue providing our essential services. Wow, that's, that's so beautiful to hear. Um, in addition to DNA paternity testing, your company offers genetic predisposition testing non-invasive prenatal testing, NIPT, pre-implantation genetic testing for aneuploidy, that's PDTA, and monogenic disorders, PDTM, prenatal DNA paternity testing. Absolutely, you're correct. Oh, okay. So can you explain what genetic predisposition testing involves and its benefits? Genetic predisposition testing involves analyzing an individual's DNA to assess their risk of developing certain genetic conditions or diseases. This information can be incredibly valuable for preventive health care, mm -hmm. allowing individuals to seek, like make lifestyle changes or seek early intervention to reduce their risk of conditions like heart disease, diabetes, or certain cancers. Mm. Okay, um, 
how does non-invasive prenatal testing, NIPT, work? And why is it considered a significant advancement in prenatal care? NIPT analyzes small fragments of fetal DNA circulating in a pregnant woman's blood. Mm -hmm. It's a safe and non-invasive way to, to, to screen for chromosomal uh, abnormalities like Down syndrome. Okay. NIPT is significant because it poses no risk to the fetus, unlike invasive procedures, and it can be performed as early as 10 weeks into the pregnancy, providing early and reliable information. Mm. Can you describe what pre-implantation genetic testing for aneuploidy, PGTA, and monogenic disorders, PGTM, entail, and their importance in IVF? So PGTA screens embryos for chromosomal abnormalities before implantation, uh, like chromosomal, like uh, Down syndrome, and this increases the chances of a successful pregnancy and reduces the risk of miscarriage. Okay. While PGTM tests for specific genetic disorders like sickle cell anemia, allowing mm -hmm. parents with a known genetic condition to ensure their embryo are free from that condition. Both tests are crucial in improving IVF outcomes and enabling informed making decisions. Hmm. Wow. Okay. Um, what is the process and accuracy of prenatal D DNA paternity testing at Home Gene Limited? So prenatal DNA paternity testing at Home Gene Limited involves analyzing fetal DNA found in the mother's blood. It can be performed as early as 10 weeks into pregnancy. The test compares the fetal DNA with the potential father's DNA. Hmm. So offering accurate uh, uh, accuracy rates mm. similar to postnatal DNA tests, usually above 99.99 percent. The mm. process is safe and non invasive and reliable. Wow, oh, okay. Can you discuss the significance of fetal hemoglobin genotype testing and its application in prenatal care? Fetal hemoglobin genotype testing determines genetic makeup related to the hemoglobin production in the fetus. Mm. which is crucial for detecting conditions like sickle cell disease or thalassemia. Early identification allows parents and healthcare providers to plan for appropriate medical care and interventions, ensuring better healthcare outcomes for the child. Mm -hmm. I'm curious, how does Home Gene Limited handle the confidentiality and ethical considerations associated with genetic testing? Confidentiality and ethics are paramount at Home Gene Limited. Mm -hmm. We ensure all client information is securely stored and only accessible to authorized personnel. Informed consent is obtained before any testing and results are communicated privately through their email address. We also provide genetic counseling to help clients understand the implications of these results, ensuring they are supported throughout the process. Oh, okay. That's, that's beautiful. Um, Dr. Shinyaba, what are some of the challenges you face in promoting genetic testing services in Nigeria and how do you overcome them? That's a very good question. So one challenge is raising awareness mm. about the benefits and availability of genetic testing. Our plan is to address this through educational campaigns and community outreach. We are also dedicated to dispelling myths and misconceptions about genetic testing by providing clear communication and comprehensive support. Oh, so how do you see the future of genetic testing evolving, particularly in Nigeria and Africa? And what role do you envision for Home Gene Limited? The future of genetic testing in Nigeria and Africa is promising especially with advancement, uh, advancement making tests more advancement making tests more accessible and affordable. We envision Home Gene Limited leading this transformation by expanding our services, incorporating the latest technologies and continuing our commitments to quality and ethical standards. We are also committed to ongoing research and development to stay at the forefront of genetic technology. Ultimately, our vision is to be a leader in genetic testing in Africa, providing innovative and life-changing services to our clients. That's a robust plan, and I am particularly excited for that. Thank you. Okay. 
How does genetic testing impact personalized medicine? And what are some examples of its application in clinical practice? Genetic testing plays a crucial role in personalized medicine by allowing treatment to be tailored to an individual's genetic profile. For instance, in oncology, genetic testing can identify specific mutations in tumors, enabling targeted therapy that are more effective and have fewer side effects. Similarly, pharmacogenomics uses genetic information to determine the best medication and dosage for individuals individual patients, reducing the risk of adverse reactions. Mm, okay. What advancements do you foresee in the field of genetics over the next decade? I anticipate significant advancements in gene editing technology, such as CRISPR, mm. which could lead to cures for genetic disorders. Additionally, improvements in genomic sequencing and bioinformatics will enhance our ability to diagnose and understand complex diseases. There is also growing interest in the integration of genetics with other fields like epigenetics and microbiomics to provide a more comprehensive understanding of human health. Mm. Safe to say that the future is bright, it's looking bright. Absolutely. Yeah. Um, so what role do you think public education plays in the field of genetics and how can we improve genetic literacy among the general population? So public education is vital in helping people understand genetics and its implications for health. Mm. Improving genetic literacy can reduce misconceptions and empower individuals to make informed decisions about genetic testing and healthcare. We can improve genetic literacy through school curricula, public health campaigns, and accessible resources like online courses and informational websites. Collaboration with media and community organizations can also help disseminate accuracy and understand genetic information to a broader audience. Hmm. Wow. <laughs> It's been a really insightful time with you, Dr. Shiaba. Thank you so much. I mean, I've learned so much. I feel like my head is full and I'm ready to just start giving everybody information because I've learned so much. This is just the beginning. <laughs> oh my God. Yes. It's been a really amazing time. I'm sure you all have your questions to ask. You can go ahead and comment your questions. Dr. Shiaba is here ready. She's patient, as you can see, ready to answer all of the questions that you may have. And guess what? It's not over yet. So Dr. Shaba is still here with us, fully loaded with stories to share with us. And my guys, this is the very entertaining part. So I'm excited.